How do y'all think Hayden will react when he finds out who Samara been seeing or sleeping with? Comment down below. Okay, y'all, so Hayden got caught slipping. But my question is, not only how will Hayden react when he finds out who Tamara been sleeping with, but when do y'all think it's going to be Tamara's turn to get caught? Well, I say this whole situation crazy because they both cheating on each other. Then it's the fact that Gary still seems to have Tamara's head gone. She talking to Fatima on next week's episode. Well, this week. I'm talking about next week. On this week's episode, talking about who, you know, Gary's seeing. Talking about something. Uh, what did she say? Basically, she doesn't think that Gary is still stuck on her girl, talking about Andy. And I said, you crazy? He over here sniffing her undies and stuff. <laughs> he over here being a sicko. What you talking about? Not only that, even if Andy wasn't in the picture, he told you. He told you what he was using you for. I want to know how Tamara and Fatima's conversation came about. I want to know if Fatima's trying to get her to do another job or what. Well, Tamara's on this week's episode telling Fatima about the new lady in Garrett's life. I said, ma'am, ma'am, he told you what use of you he had. He told you what he was using you for. Well, yeah, I see that I wasn't the only one that thought that Tamara and Hayden were still married. I said, look, because I think the way this season started, we saw her in his office and she was back because obviously he was asking for a divorce, um, I think, last season. Not only that, didn't this all begin... Um, I think at the beginning of the season, wasn't they all at Hayden House? At Hayden House having dinner or something like that? Or was that last season? But yeah, I was on Instagram reading comments on some videos. And people were saying how they thought they were still married. I said married. Married. They thought they were still married. Some people were feeling like some of these storylines don't make sense. That they backtracking. I agree. I agree. But at the end of the day, did y'all see that interview that Tyler Perry did? I think it was with Kiki Palmer. Where he said, and he, even not just that interview, he been steady saying how basically he serves his fan base, so he going to stick to what he doing. But how do y'all feel about the lust triangle that's going on between Hayden, Miss Marie, and Samira? How do y'all feel coming down below? Yeah, I said, not these folks in here about the fight over Hayden. I said, no, nah, now. Nah. Then, again, I repeat, Miss Marie was trying to fly him out. I said, come on now. What I'm interested to see next season, though, because this season, I think, what is this, 21? Next week, the season finale, ain't it? I wonder how long we got to wait this time. And I'm hoping we get a Zatima trailer as well. But yeah, next season, i seen that Hayden's going to be something about Hayden going to be in the gym and somebody going to be talking mess to him or something like that. But it doesn't say if he's still going to be working at uh, the firm or what. Because, you know, Andy's supposed to make partner. She said the first thing she's going to do is get rid of him. But let me know y'all thoughts down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is her girls today. Be safe. Okay, y'all, so I started my own community center a couple years ago, and I just really figured out what direction I wanted to go in with it. But the name of the community center is Perkins Unity Center. The mission of Perkins Unity Center is to revive the village, which is the community around the world, through unity. By doing that, I will be hosting different types of events online and in person in order to help give back to those in need whether you need food you need gas you need clothing you need baby necessities anything like that if you need help the link is in the description as well it's under the link tree i think i got a label my community center and you click on that and it's going to take you to the link that shows the fundraiser the cash app and the form where if you need help you can put in your information and here are the shirts, y'all. They deleted my audio, but here are the shirts. It comes in pink, purple, blue, orange, green, and yellow. On the fundraiser site, they also allow you to donate. So if you don't want to purchase a shirt, you can click the link and donate. If you want to purchase a shirt, the fundraiser link is live now. If you want to donate through Cash App, you can as well. If you need help and want to sign up, the form is in the description as well. Thank y'all and stay tuned for the content, the behind the scenes, y'all.